Today we have with us two very, very special guests. We have a wonderful actor who's got brilliant comic timing. He's also the son of a legendary actor, Jitendra Ji. He's also a wonderful son, a great brother, and now an amazing dad to his gorgeous little son, Laksha. We've got the fabulous Tushar Kapoor. Thank you so much for the very warm welcome. Thank you so much, Tushar, for being on the show. And we've also got with us a wonderful, amazing doctor, Dr. Firoza Parekh, who is extremely well-renowned. She's helped facilitate Tushar's dream of becoming a dad. She's also the head of assisted reproduction and genetics at the Jaslok Hospital, which has actually helped over 9,500 infertile people have babies. Thank you so much, Dr. Firoza, for being on the show. It's a pleasure. It really is. I have to say, when Tushar very kindly came on a previous season of my show, you mentioned how one day you'd love to be a dad. And I'm honestly so impressed that you've walked the talk and that you're here. Tell us, Tushar, how did you decide this was it and you're going to go for it? Like you said, three, four years back, I was making statements like, I want to be a father, I love kids. But by the time I reached my early to mid-30s. Marriage hadn't happened by then and I didn't have a clue when it would happen. So I had this idea in my mind that the clock is ticking. So I need to have a child at least if I want to be a father. You know, yeah. you don't want to be a father to a 15-year-old when you're 60. You know, you want to grow with your child and yeah. you want to be energetic for your child. So these thoughts would come to my mind and I didn't have a clue how I would go about it without getting married. Yeah. So, I think it was God sent. I met Mr. Prakash Jha at Tirupati after Darshan. And there he told me that, you know, if uh, you want to be a single dad, you can do surrogacy. And he knows someone who has uh, met doctor and done the assisted reproduction procedure, who's right. a single mom now. And That's think, amazing. Yeah. So, these are signs, I believe, that, you know, things were meant to be. But I took my time, yeah. thought about it, and then I went and met doctor. I owe her my fatherhood, for sure. That yeah. is amazing. What a wonderful story. So, doctor, tell us, um, when Tushar approached you, what was your first reaction? What really impressed me about Tushar was his... He was true to his self. Yeah. He wanted to be happy. He had a biological need to be a parent. Yes. I found him to be extremely stable and very conscientious in whatever he said. Very honest. And yeah. I appreciated that a lot. And we felt that Tushar would make an excellent father. When you told your parents about your desire to be a dad, what was their reaction? Actually, I, I mean, I'm saying this for the first time to everyone. When the IVF was successful, that's when I told mom. <laughs> I didn't tell her. Oh, I didn't really? take her permission. So I think that should tell people that I was really, really sure of what I was doing. It was yeah. my decision. She was very supportive. Dad was very supportive considering he's your typical Indian traditional you know, man, and I mean, the kind of movies he's done have been very, very Indian, typical, traditional, 60s, 70s, 80s, those kind of films. But they were really, really supportive. So I think that's when uh, half the battle was won. It's when your parents are with you. Yeah. And I think uh, it's in God's hands that Laksh is in my hands today. That's yeah. amazing, amazing. You touch upon it, the fact that he has the family support as well. Because I think when you say a single parent, we do live in society which does have certain so-called societal norms and to actually break through and say, you know, you don't have to live by stereotypes is, is really brave. Somehow for a woman, a single woman to say, I have a maternal instinct seems to be a societal norm. Mm -hmm. But if a single man says, I have a paternal instinct, mm -hmm. it's the talk of the town. Yeah. So there has to be a mindset change, I really do believe. Yeah, obviously having family support was uh, a big factor in giving me the confidence to take this step. But also the fact that there are single parents all around us who are good parents and uh, it's proven time and again that it's the amount of time, love and uh, how much responsibility you take towards your children which is most important Absolutely. rather than, you know, going the stereotypical way wherein sometimes families are split up and things don't work out as comfortable for the child as it should be and in that case, You'd rather be a single parent who doubles up for both, has the family support and then the child is happy at the end of the day. Now about the actual procedure, um, I honestly don't really know exactly mm. what it entails. So can you briefly just sure. tell us? In this, first of all, IVF is done in right. the standard way. And then there is a woman who has been selected for the procedure of being a surrogate lady. She, of course, undergoes a lot of medical examination, yes. counselling. Somebody who does surrogacy has to be very, very kind at heart. 
it's not because just for money. The... She has to be a true mother yeah. in order to make somebody else a parent. In India, we have very supportive laws and we have a legal system which promotes surrogacy. And do you ever meet her or you don't meet the surrogate mother? No, no, I mother? did. Of course, we, uh, we saw it with that she's happy, that she's well taken care of. I gave her CDs and, yeah. you know, music and uh, all kinds of things that would keep her, you know, very happy. positive, very happy. Like all moms, yeah, you know, of course, they of do course. that when they're pregnant. She has uh, carried my child and yeah. uh, God bless her. I think it was a very um, emotional time for everybody. Because I feel the surrogate lady truly contributes to somebody's happiness. And I think in this case, with you, you've certainly like broken a barrier, especially I think being in the film industry. Not only have you done it, but you're being so vocal about it. And I think more than anything, that's inspirational to anyone out there who may in any way want to live life on their own term to know that Absolutely. you can do that. It's you know, legal. I think it's it's, it's legal. Uh, possible. Yeah. And there are people who are doing it. And uh, if you have the means and the emotional inclination, why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, tell us a little bit about your hands-onness. You can't really quantify what you can do as a hands-on parent, but I try and do my best. I give him as much time as I can when he's awake. I feed him sometimes. You know, obviously. He, and you burp him. I burp you him. Hold him hand no, when he the burps, burp. the whole family is like, <gasps> he's burped. Uh, and then he sleeps through the night. He's a very good wow, child. Wow, that's sleeps amazing. Through the night, yeah. Please, na zar na lage, raat bar sota hai. Yeah, no, no, that's what, that's amazing. But just to check how hands-on you are, I'm going to do something funny. Oh, wow. But can I have it, please? <laughs> Get oh, your competitive sweet. gloves on because we will be seeing who can change the pamper on the teddy faster. Okay. I'll let him win. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's a good way of starting. Take, take one. Okay, I'm going to... Take, take two. Take, take three. Take, take... Oh, there you go. Five. They're both, they're both, both at the same time, right? This is both driven exactly at the same time. Yes. You know what this is? The mark if he's peed or not, no, it yeah. gets blue. Obviously, <laughs> peed and if he's pooped or not. But Very my, my cool. baby. That's a wetness indicator. Yeah. Tells you it's a peed or pooped. No, but it's a little lower though on the diaper. It's supposed to be. But yeah, this is a, not a real diaper. I think. I think. Or is it? It, it is. It's <laughs> yeah, a real diaper, diaper, not a real kid. Not a real kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So thank you both so much for being on the show. It's been such a pleasure. So interesting and also so much fun. Is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers? Any tips you'd like to give? What I would like to tell everybody is always be true to yourself. Follow your heart and always be happy. That's lovely. I'm no one to give advice to people on parenthood or fatherhood or being a single dad. I'm also a new single dad. I'm learning as we go. And that's the fun of it. That's the excitement, the adventure, the joy that's come into my life. I've shared a lot about my child, my baby Laksha with all of you. You all have been very supportive when we made the statement, the announcement. Everybody in India, I think, was delighted and very positive. We expected, you know, all kinds of reactions. But I think unanimously, you guys have supported me. I just want you all to bless my child now and be by his side like you have been so far. I'm really going to keep checking up Tushar on you and baby Lakshya yes, to see. Yes, please come over. I would love to and I'd love to meet him. Thank you both so, so much for being on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. It was wonderful to meet you. Thank you. The purpose of this show is to provide a platform to share stories so that some of you may relate to some, may agree, may agree to disagree and perhaps it begins a conversation that can help bring about positive change. To interact with me, please write in to our social media handles and for latest updates, please log on to our website. Till we meet again, bye-bye.